I bought this iPad in 2018, hoping to get away from my Mac, and I did it. The last time I opened my Mac was back when I got into stocks. That's over now. And this is how I use my iPad and what apps I use to create these videos for you. Okay, first up, emails. And yes, DMs are fine and all, but emails? Emails are difficult to keep up with. Spike is an app that turns your existing email into that. A fast and fluid experience, just like chat. Now, full disclosure, they do want you to partner up for this video, but it's also what I use for my emails. First, it sorts out all the newsletters, updates, promotions, like all the non-important stuff into a separate other tab. Second, it organizes conversations by people instead of threads. So if I just scroll up, I can see all the emails sent by this person. It's all together. But more importantly, it makes the actual messages a lot more cleaner and easier to understand. Like it gets rid of all the repeating headers and signatures that get embedded in when you reply to an email. And it basically presents it like a chat message. Now, if you want to, you can tap on it and see the full thread. And also being on YouTube, there's a lot of back and forth that goes on with the brands. And this makes managing all of it that much easier. But the real kicker is that the person on the other end doesn't have to do anything differently for it to work. Yeah, you can even do video calls and collaborate on notes all from inside the app, even with people that are not on Spike. So yes, the people you contact still get a regular email, but you have everything built right in and it's free for personal use. So yeah, I recommend Spike for emails. Next is planning and organization. Trello is an app I use to manage and visualize all of my videos on a board. So how it works is you create boards which have columns where you can write down your tasks in a form of cards. It's actually a project management tool, but how I use it is pretty basic though. I write down all of my video ideas into cards and then arrange them into a calendar of sorts to like get an idea and a sense of direction for the channel. And then I'll move them around as and when things get completed. It kind of works like a content calendar for me, but you can do way more stuff like add media, due dates, and a whole lot of stuff. But I personally just don't bother. But yeah, it's way more useful if you're working in a team or what. It's completely free for what I do, but there are plans for teams. Okay, now over to writing. Craft is the best designed app I've ever used on the iPad. It's a block-based editor like Notion, which I know a lot of people rave about, but honestly, it's bad on the iPad. Plus, it's way more overwhelming to get started. Craft though is simpler. I move things around a lot after writing and this makes it a breeze to organize and structure the text later. Yeah, you can just select all the lines and then drag them wherever you want. You can also group and ungroup stuff to have like pages within pages inside document. It's kind of like creating your own app. Now, I still use Apple Notes for personal stuff, but I keep all of my YouTube stuff in here. It syncs via iCloud and supports almost every iPad feature. Multiple windows, split view, dark mode, drag and drop, everything. Formatting text is also a lot faster with a dedicated style menu. And it not only makes it look beautiful, but also easier to read and understand. It's free up to a thousand blocks, but it's by far the best looking notes app for the iPad. Yeah, but I'm also looking to transition to handwritten notes and it's not really good for that. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Okay, I know it's kind of a mess in here, but really I don't have like a go-to app for photo editing. Different apps work better for different things. So here's a quick breakdown for all of this. Darkroom for editing and tweaking with the sliders. Pixelmator photo for the AI stuff and also deleting things. Yeah, mostly deleting things. Bazaar for creating simple graphics and composites. Lightroom for making selective edits. Canva for like Photoshop-like stuff and thumbnails. Over for presets and templates and Keynote for animation and titles. I know that's a lot, but it is what it is. Okay, and when it's time to shoot, I use this app, Panasonic Image, to transform the iPad into a monitor. It works over Wi-Fi and there's a slight delay, but it's totally usable for like self-monitoring or hitting the record button. I mostly use it to check focus when I'm recording. And finally, editing. LumaFusion is honestly the reason I'm able to post these videos in a matter of days instead of months. Yeah, I've used iMovie on the Mac and then Final Cut for a little bit. And while they are definitely more capable, nothing beats the tactile experience of literally cutting and moving clips with your finger. Plus, it doesn't need to render the timeline first. It's ready to go from the minute you drop the first clip. Yeah, performance on the iPad never gets in the way. And I think I'm able to move much faster here than on a computer. 
but still it takes me a lot more time than you think. So what I do is after I'm done recording, I'll import everything into LumaFusion using the Files app. And after reviewing and marking the footage, I'll get to the rough edit, arranging, cutting, and putting it all together. The timeline is a mix of Final Cut and Premiere Pro. Like you have tracks, but it also links magnetically. You can do six tracks of video and there are some other limitations, but being able to edit from like anywhere is the real deal. And after the rough edit is done, I'll add the titles and music and then check for audio levels before I upload it to YouTube, which you can do from within the app, which is great. So yeah, there are other apps out there for editing video on the iPad, but LumaFusion is the closest thing you'll find to iMovie or Final Cut on the Mac. And that is what's on my iPad and what apps I use to create. But yeah, let me know what's on your iPad and what apps do you use the most. Like this video and subscribe if you like to see the next one. And I'll see you then.